Hey guys, it's Natalie. It is Digito Friday and we are talking about changes. Uh, every time I hear that word, I want to go ch 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 changes. Sorry, <laughs> that was really goofy side of me. That doesn't come out very often. Sorry about that. Um, I think Elizabeth with Madeira Green Moments is uh, rubbing off on me a little too much. That won't happen again. Sorry about that. But yes, we are talking about changes. Did you know that there is new changes to our policy and procedures? After I did a video about that a couple of Fridays ago, they're changing the policy and procedures, but that's okay because it's not the whole thing. Um, there's mainly certain sections of it, and that is why it's really important to always stay on top of what Young Living is doing. And did one of those things is, did you know that they are always sending us emails? Um, if you're not getting your emails from Young Living, make sure you check the virtual office and make sure your email is correct in there. Um, but that is why you should always be checking your email. For example, did you know that they have revamped the formula for our Super C tablets, which I think is exciting. We just got an email um, saying that we are working on a brand new formulization for our popular C Super C chewables. Hopefully it's really yummy. I haven't tried them yet, but I really want to. Uh, it says on June 1st, you can be one of the first to order the improved formula. Uh, the price will be increased and uh, to $31.75 per bottle. I haven't done the math on it yet, so I'm not sure what that makes it each vitamin to be uh, made out to be. Um, but you can visit your virtual office and get it. So that is why it's important to check your email and to check your virtual office because a lot of times we get in the know before the public does. Yay for us! Another great reason to be a member of Young Living. And then we also got an email uh, this past week about the policy and procedures. And so it said that some of the highlighted changes are going to be professional account customers will be required to complete an application and sign a professional account customer agreement. Then another exciting change is minors 16 years of age or older may become members with a parental or guardian co-signing co or parent or co guardian co-signing. And then another exciting change that I'm excited about is members may offer only reference materials and up to $25 in enrollment incentives to new enrollees and reactivated members. This is excite me, excites me because I see so many people out there um, offering everything in the kitchen sink for uh, to get new members to sign up. And that is great, I think, but it for me, it kind of cheapens the whole Young Living experience. Um, for me, the oils themselves uh, sell. And I honestly don't think you need any more incentive than to want to get well and to want to improve the, the support of your family and just to the and just the oils themselves are the selling point. Um, but I understand, and I know that it can be hard to get new members, uh, and some people need to to do with incentives. But I saw um, like one person was giving a, a pocket reference guide, a twenty-five dollar gift certificate to Amazon, and something else, and it was just like crazy. And to me, it just really cheapens. The deal i'm sorry um it really does for me personally and a lot of times i found and i guess and i guess for me right now this is kind of a sore spot because we have so many people signing up that their sponsors just sign them up and just that's it they sign them up and that's it they don't get any support just today um, i heard from one of my downline that somebody contacted her and said I really wish that I signed up under you. I just saw somebody on Instagram and thought, you know what, I really need those oils and I signed up under them and now I really wish I could have changed under you. I had no idea how important it was uh, to pick a good sponsor. And so that's, you know, I don't know, this is just really a hard spot for me, but I'm gonna get off of that. Sorry, I go off on tangents. I like to stand on my soap opera, box, my soap opera. <laughs> I like to stand up on my soapboxes a lot. So that's a great change that is happening. And then another important change that is coming is changing sponsors. 
It says, our sponsor change process has changed and will be allowed only within the first 20 days after initial enrollment. It was 30 days, but now it has changed to 20 days. Only one sponsor change will be allowed during the 20 day period. You can change sponsors when you first sign up, you can change within 20 days um, of signing of your initial sign up date. So those are the main changes that are happening. And um, another email today saying that the Young Living Policy and Procedures are intended to be a living document where sections of the document may be edited as needed from time to time. Um, and this happened and they are going back and looking at particular, in particularly section 3.3 which uh, concerns the household accounts and they will be editing that and so the date for the effectiveness and the effect date for the policies and procedures is probably going to be pushed back uh, about a week. Um, which I'm glad because when I went and I read the household uh, section of the policy and procedures, it was a little bit confusing to me. So I'm glad they're kind of going back and they're listening to, to people that have already reviewed the new policy and procedures and have given their input. So I think that's a great thing about Young Libby. This is what the new policy and procedures looks like. That's the front of it. Um, I'm, and of course, um, if you haven't read it, you make sure you do. I always print it out, which, <laughs> I printed the whole thing out. It's like 30 pages and I printed it out in color, but that's okay. Um, maybe I'll go through and highlight and, or I'll go through and compare and then just pull the pages that or print the pages that I need to do. But I highly recommend that you print the whole thing out and stick it in a binder so you always have it on hand. Go through it, highlight things, make notes on it. When your downline calls you and has questions or a new member has questions, you always have it there on your fingertips. Of course, you have it in your virtual office, but it's always great to be able to have it and flip through, especially when you highlight, if you're like me and you highlight things. I haven't gone through the whole thing yet and highlighted it yet, um, but the other did you know I wanted to talk about today is did you know about advertising? Um, advertising with Young Living is an amazing thing. And if you go in your virtual office, in the member resources, um, there's a whole section there that they have the Young Living independent distributor logo that you can download. They have, have a template for business cards. They have the Facebook banners that you can print. They've got all kinds of things in our virtual office, which if you don't know how to get into your virtual office into the member resources, I just did a video, I think it was last Friday. I'll try to find the link and I'll put it below and it shows you how to navigate a little bit into the new virtual office. But with the uh, advertising, did you know that you are not supposed to use any of the trademark logos uh, that Young Living has? So I see this a lot on Facebook. People just put the Young Living logo in their picture. That's a no-no. That's a trademark and you're not supposed to use it as marketing and advertising. You can, we can only use Young Living uh, essential oils independent distributor the logo that is in the virtual office just using young living the young living logo is trademarked and when you put that on advertising when you put that on anything and you can't sell anything with that logo on it only things that have young living independent uh, distributor on that uh, so you need to be really careful with that that's a it's a trademark but like I said the virtual office has a lot of great material um, that we can already use and you don't have to reinvent anything uh, so just make sure when you are uh, putting anything out there graphics or anything you don't just put young living uh, you need to put young living independent distributor your name and your membership number that's really important so that is my did you know friday the changes that are coming in the policy and procedures make sure you read them uh, when they come up either i looked today and they're not posted yet in the new virtual office the old one are, the old one is still there but if you haven't read the old one make sure you do so um, it would be a really great thing to get started uh, knowing about it and the advertising, make sure you're advertising the correct way. And um, I think that was it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Oh, wait, one more thing. We are having a Memorial Day giveaway. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I will put the link below. Make sure you check it out. Uh, I'm giving, I'm not gonna tell you, you have to watch the video. But the, you have until Saturday, I think I said Saturday at midnight to participate. Winners will be announced on the Must Have Monday video. 
I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Keep living the oil life and I will see you next time. Bye.